I, I can't see shit right now. Don't run me into something. <laughs> what the fuck are you? What is this? I'm so nervous. All right, come here and right there. Okay. Perfect. What's going to happen to me? Here's your microphone. What is going to happen? Nothing. Just wait for Noel to tell you when to take off your blindfold. And whenever he says you can take it what off. What is this? Oh, that's the. <laughs> I feel like something's gonna come attack me right now. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Good morning! Go ahead and take that blindfold off, brother. Happy 300, my guy. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> you what like the it? fuck is this? What is it? Oh, let me show you. It's my new truck. Shit's good, right? It smells good, right? This is the sickest thing I've ever seen. I know, you can't have one. But, um, it's cool, right? Yeah. I feel like I could pull it forward a little more, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. Let me, let me roll this bad bitch in. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, it's a right? <laughs> the yeah. steering wheel's on the wrong side. Yeah. Where the fuck did you even get this from? Oh, uh, let me show you. It smells good in here, right? Yeah, it smells like diesel. I love fuel. this smell. <laughs> it smells oh. like a go-kart track. Stop Sorry. revving it, dude. It's gonna I just it's I can't help carbon it. Carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> hey, what is that sound? Stop. Stop. Okay, all right. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Smell <laughs> Smells pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> smells uh, like a go-kart track. Huh? It smells like a go-kart track. It does. Happy 300. So, thanks. Happy 300, bro. 300 episodes. Come here. Bring it in, man. Now I got us a gift. Us? Yeah. What is it? Well, I wanted to surprise you. Can I? Do I need to use a mic or? No, I you're laughing. Okay, yeah. Um, you're gonna have to. Yeah. We'll show you the gift in just a moment. Okay. Yeah. So this is when I go back out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's up guys, this is the TNT Podcast, this is today's free episode, if you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website, Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer and get hit by that car? Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my arse eaten. The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. All right, we're rolling. Okay, you can you can undo your you can undo yeah? your yeah. So I got us a gift. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just don't look too hard at it. What? No. Well, first of all, everyone. First of all, hello everybody. It's our three hundredth episode, which is fucking insane. Pretty insane. Way. I was thinking that I was like, how many years is that? Six. That's crazy. Yeah. Six years, man. Well, almost six years. Call I mean, it. That's, Round up. Fuck it. That's a long time for a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I wanted to get us a little gift. I wanted to surprise the show. First of all, we'll talk about the truck in a second. Yeah, let's I need to know what, how this came to be. Yeah. We'll talk about this in a moment. Because it's sick. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Do we you. get to keep it? Uh, we, we can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we okay. can definitely talk about okay. that. Okay. All right. So, uh, this is cool. But I, By the I, way, for people listening, Noel drove a truck <laughs> onto the set. Yeah. As I was blindfolded. Yeah. Oh, I. Hold on. <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> 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 
Like we're having this like sentimental moment, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you to just do that in the middle of it. I'm sorry. It's just a little bit messed up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, was... that just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> well, dude, um, speaking of the truck and surprises, I wanted to surprise us. I don't think there's really any way I could tee this up. So, <laughs> You know what? Can I guess what it is? Yeah, take a guess. I think that this is like the... Remember a long time ago we like came upon like the semen extractor machine? You know what's really good about that? Is it actually? Oh, well. <laughs> no way. What if I told you that we didn't have to go to Vegas anymore? Oh my god, no way! No fucking way! Dude. <laughs> He's like, like a moth to a flame. Like a moth to a flame. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck my bad. Yeah, dude. Get it. <laughs> I wish you guys could see his face from this side. Bonus! This is that's huge! Yeah, it's massive. Six gold six gold records. Eight free Eight spins. Free spins. See? This might be copywritten, so <laughs> that definitely is. Shut up, shut up. Shh 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 shush. Sh Turn the volume down on this thing. So for people listening. It is, it's our own slot machine. Shut up! <laughs> Sorry, I just I won too much. Yeah, he's uh, yeah he won I a won, big bonus. I won so too now many we're spins. Fucking... <laughs> All right, we had to pick a monkey. Yeah, Sorry. I had to pick a monkey. Who is the who are the monkeys? It's a band from like back in the day. Ten. What do we what do we? Look at this shit. We're winning. We're fucking winning. 16 bucks, 17 <laughs> bucks, 18 bucks. Keep it going. 18 Oh, oh we got more spins. Four more spins oh, left. Shit. See, this is what it's fucking about right here. This is such a rush. Is it not? I, you don't have to tell me. Oh, my God. Everyone listening is like, fuck no. <laughs> this is complete. Oh, oh you got to pick a monkey. Respin and multiply. Oh fuck, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh no. <We're> gonna... <laughs> <laughs> 2x? <laughs> Eight more spins. Oh no. This is what it's about right here. Eight more spins. Do you spins. not feel this energy in here? This rush? <laughs> I did feel the carbon monoxide. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm a little bit lightheaded from the fucking exhaust of this car. So we're down $19,500. <laughs> no, we're up. Welcome to the TMG Podcast. We're up $21 right now and <laughs> looking for more, all right? We got four more free spins left. Oh, we got to pick, pick a monkey. monkey. We got to pick a monkey. Hold on. Everyone knows. We'll take it. Green monkey on the right when it's Four when it's TVs. 11. And Both we got we got four more spins. Ten forty nine. It's an odd number. You always pick the right monkey. Right, right. Always. We got three more spins, folks. Remember, we're not saying please anymore. We're not saying please. We're not saying please. Uh -uh. Four TVs. Spinning streak. That's a six TV. I said four, but it was really five. Uh, um, wait, wait. Even number. Left monkey. Please. Okay. Thank you. Cody, you got a visor right there if you want it. Huh? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Viva Lost Monkeys. <sighs> yep. <laughs> We're not. Come on, big tambourines. Come on, big, big tambourine, tambourine bonus. Big tambourine bonus. Hold oh. on. Ten fifty still even left, please. Quick. Yep. Three hundred credits. We'll take it. Three hundred credits. We'll take that. Thank you One very much. One more spin remaining. Come on. Can we get a board full of tambourines? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually fucking insane. This yeah. spin. Yeah. It's uh... a. <laughs> Shut up and spin. <laughs> <laughs> this, we're not going to be able to play this entire segment. Oh. $42. And that's how it's done. That's what a big win looks that's like. A, that's a stupendous win dance right there. Oh, that sorry, is, big win. It's a big-ass win. Oh, my God. What a rush. 
I feel like I just <laughs> did a bump or something. <laughs> no. Is this this is what this is what runner's high feels like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, but way I'm, worse. Okay, I think I'm gonna start running then. Yeah. You've just sold me on running. Wait, so do we get to keep this? This is ours. Really? This is ours. The slot machine is fully ours. But the truck? We can make this ours. <laughs> For the low, low price of? Uh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk the low, about low it. price of, we'll talk about okay, it. Okay, okay. Um, you want me to make a call? What? Ovi, can you text our, our mans? Big shout out to Oiwa, our guy George at Oiwa. He he set us up with this. And big thank you to the crew. Uh Ovi, Luke, um, everybody. Lauren got this thing in here. She knew how to drive stick. Yeah, wow. Um who else what is even on is, this what project? Even... Ryan, Zach, Sydney, who else? Thank you guys. Izzy was on it. Cash was here. Everybody. And what is this truck? This is a K truck. K E I. I um, love it. It's all the way so from cool. Nippon, Japan. Okay. All the way, all the way over here. Like you shipped it over just for this? Well, our, our guy George specializes in importing these. And so he uh, imported it just for the 300th episode. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how. <laughs> wow, dude! Shout out to you, man. That's really. It took special. two Thank months, so, so he knew when we hit episode two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seventy-five. He's he like, keeping, I have to. He was keeping track. Right? I got to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I get this here in yeah. time. It's a sick truck. <clears throat> yeah. So and so and this. This? Does this actually pay out? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me collect. $2,721. Uh, 40 of that is mine. I'll have you know. So, uh, so where's the cashier? <laughs> yeah. Where's the cashier? Are you the... Do you want to... I think it's us, technically. <laughs> I, think, I think we got to pay it out, technically. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. It doesn't like, come with like money in it? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Aww. Yeah, that part. Take it back. Yeah, so again, <laughs> tmgstudios.tv. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to fuel Cody's addiction. Um, we're going to need those subs, guys. And Cody's not going to be the only one with a Coke addiction. I'm definitely going to be hitting lines. <laughs> you guys are going to start the next episode. I'm just going to be sitting here just chain smoking. <laughs> like, dude, have you have you slept? Yeah, I've been well, here since me. last week. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I never left the studio after the last episode. I've been here the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Hit a stupendous win, mega win, superfluous win, superfluous. It's not even a word. A super and marvelous, <laughs> superb and marvelous together. <sighs> Damn, that's a rare one. Well, oh. um, I I actually got you a gift too. Did you? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Well, it's it's also car related. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you went the quality route. Okay. I veered towards the quantity route. <laughs> okay. Okay. You got me a hundred Porsches? Oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> wow. This is good. That is 300 Hot Wheels, which is <laughs> if I just nowhere dope, near I'm... the amount I thought it was going to look like. <laughs> When I said 300 Hot, Wheel, Hot Wheels, I pictured it to be like, you know, like a mound over the wheelbarrow, but. Wow, this episode is over. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually sick. Yeah, so now we have now we have my biggest vice and Noel's biggest vice yeah, on set. <laughs> we need to get it from this angle. <laughs> this is the one. Just have a seat and smile. Look, at, look right to that camera. Happiest day of our lives. <laughs> yeah. Pretty insane. Pretty insane, dude. Thank you this for the 300 cars. This is nowhere near the amount. I thought it was going to be like heaping. You no, know? you need like a thousand. Like, I know. <laughs> yeah, I felt you. This is, like, this is like when you first see like $10,000 in a briefcase and it's like a stack like this yeah. egg and you're like, oh, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. Everyone relates to that, by the way, on audio. They're like, well, oh, yes, when I receive $10,000 in a briefcase. No, no, no. I, I don't mean like, I don't <laughs> just, mean, like I'm when I've seen that myself. I mean, like, you've seen it in, like, a video or something. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's, like, always in, like, like, comedies. Deal or no deal? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm kidding, though. I have seen that many times. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to fucking, uh, I was going to say, you're just going to tease me? Or you're actually going to rip one through there? We'll, we'll do it later. Yeah, we'll do it later. We'll do it later, yeah. man. Um, so <laughs> it is a celebration, <laughs> right? Gonna be making that sound the whole time. Yes, yeah, calling your name. <laughs> no, just that. 
Just that, yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the sound. That's I, the sound I was, of I was like, I was saying that like I was annoyed, but I'm almost drawn to that noise. Yeah, it'll. It's fine. The noise gate will cut it out. It sounds like freedom, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, like you're drifting through the casino floor. If we just load up, we shouldn't because it's not cool. What? We just lit up a stove right now. <laughs> it's not cool to do. It's definitely not. It's not all right to do. Um, it is a celebration, so I do think we deserve a cake. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? What do we got here? What kind of cake is this? Oh my god. Give me that fucking knife. Oh my god. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do it. Don't you wanna just fucking We'll do the limbs first so that it feels it, you know? Huh? <clears throat> what, what do you want to cut? That's what I'm saying. You gotta do Oh, Look at that. For people listening, this is a uh, this is a cake that looks like a gigantic lobster, and very realistic too. With the sand, I do. I do. Let's see. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> ah! That's how you're supposed to do it, right to the back of the head. There you go. Yeah. Put it out of its misery. All right, now we can sit and smile. What a. <laughs> if this just isn't the last six months in an image, this is sick. Happy three hundred, everybody. Happy no, three hundred. Uh, and obviously, oh my god, look at this. Uh, obviously, massive, massive. These thank look, you. Look horrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. We look terrible. These look horrible. Massive, massive thank you to uh, everybody who listens, watches, supports the show um, for almost six years. Almost six years now. It's <clears throat> and whether it, you're a new listener or an old listener, we love you all the same. Yeah, no, seriously. Thanks for sticking with us. Thank you for uh yeah, just being along for the ride. Um it's like what do we talk about now? Uh oh. It's the audible bongo. <laughs> <laughs> That's an audible ad djembe. <laughs> ad djembe if I've ever heard one. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode episode audible nice many of you have heard of audible if not well you've been missing out on an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs mysteries and thrillers business and more audible lets you enjoy all of your audio entertainment in one app that's right audible provides the world's largest selection of audiobooks as well as podcasts exclusive originals, and more. The Audible app makes it easy to listen anytime, anywhere, while traveling, working out, walking, doing chores, you decide. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog. Members also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. You can download or stream the included titles all you want. Audible membership is an incredible value and gives all members a chance to discover new favorites and new formats like the exclusive words and music series. I've been, um, I actually use Audible all the time. I love it. I've been listening to The Addiction Formula, which is a uh, book about um, songwriting and how to create like super memorable melodies and stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. Highly recommend it. I also am a huge fan of the uh, audible version of Green Lights. Oh, nice. Because it's actually narrated by him, Matthew McConaughey. Him? Him, yes. Right. And he is him. Listen, yeah. guys, it's not only audiobooks. Audible offers guided wellness programs, theatrical performances, comedy, and originals. There are thousands of titles to choose from. If you want to check out Audible for yourself, visit audible.com slash TMG or text TMG to 500-500 and get started with a free trial. Audible is the home of storytelling. Don't miss out. Again, go to audible.com slash TMG or text TMG to 500-500 and get started with a free trial. You know, speaking of 
Um, well, not speaking of anything. This actually has no relation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you? Oh, segue bongo. <laughs> J- I- <laughs> Sorry. Jabembe or what is Jibembe? it? Jabembe, yeah, yeah, Jembe. <laughs> Jembe, yeah, Jibembe. yeah. <laughs> the segue, Jabembe. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> uh, there was a. Did you see that submarine documentary on Netflix? No. <laughs> Scary shit, man. About the about the sub. No. Oh. Different sub. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, don't <clears throat> don't go in these rich guys nautical aerospace just don't ride them what happened bro this is this is not really a happy turn okay <laughs> it's really <laughs> oh sadness jembe yeah oh i'm i'm really about the kid cutting the moment <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we were, we've been on cloud nine so yeah well it wouldn't it wouldn't be high. right if we didn't have a fucking yeah, bring me back down what do you got yeah so can you can you pull it up yeah into the deep the submarine murder case. So, fun, cool. Can you get the name? Uh, his name's Madsen, and all I could think about was Succession the whole time. Peter Madsen. Yeah. So he was this Danish, or Dan- look, look, look it up. I believe he's Danish. Anyway, there were two. There was a. There was a group of people that started. Um, I think it was like Copenhagen. Something. <laughs> the the short name for it was CS, and they were trying to start like a like a nautical aerospace independent company, and he was part of it. Uh, but then things kind of went off the rails, so then he broke off into his own thing, and they were working in the same uh, area. So like the the companies were located in, in like a shipping yard, okay, <clears throat> and they were across from each other. And so he started his company, RML, where they were both kind of competing to build submarines and and uh, self-funded spaceships. And it was kind of like this competition in his mind. And you could tell he he got the boot probably because he was a little fucking crazy. Okay. And so he goes off on a random nautical journey with an Australian reporter and or no there's an Australian documentary person who was like filming all this and simultaneously a, a journalist from Wired came to um, basically do a piece on this guy Peter Madsen and so he decides to take her out to sea and show her their submarine okay and then the submarine sinks to the bottom of the ocean they're like trying to call him well excuse me let me backtrack he goes missing, and then they they find him uh, somehow, and the submarine had sunk to the bottom of like the Copenhagen like harbor or some shit. But he was alive. He was alive. Okay, and he goes, "I'm the only. I was the only one on board. Uh, I dropped the journalist off. I don't know where she is, but they couldn't find her either. So then they arrest him because they can't find her." And spoiler alert, he hacked her to pieces. Yeah. Why? Well, they start going through his hard drive and they find like he clearly has Uh. an obsession. And what's really scary and creepy about this whole thing is it's, uh, it's one of those moments where, you know, they capture someone on, on camera before they do something terrible, but they have all the fucking evidence of like the weapons he used. Like they're looking in the background of each of the shots and they notice the before and after, like after she was murdered, like on the day. Oh God. They were like, Oh, this saw is different. And he was holding a lead pipe in this shot and it's really brutal. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So (laughs) just had to bring it back down. (laughs) Yeah, Thanks dude. (laughs) Yeah, happy 300. I just had to really... Should we maybe not include that? <laughs> no, no, we should. We should. I don't know. If we should. It was, it was really traumatic, and I just had to was share it. Was it a good documentary, at least? I don't know if you that you could call that a good could documentary. It's sad. Yeah, the whole time I'm just thinking, well, that's fucked up. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, this guy's not a good person. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> so he's doing a life sentence, but 
It's in Denmark, which means he's just staying at like a extended stay. <laughs> he's sitting in a college dorm room for thirty years. <laughs> Did, are prisons there like bougie? Uh, like in Scandinavia, I, I believe they are. Really? Yeah, generally. Yeah, I think you should. They should do like a Viking punishment death or something. Yeah, seriously. You know, just like tie him to the front of a lobster wood- death. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, they just catch him in a big net. Tear his limbs off. Tear his one. limbs off one by one. Yeah, or just tear him in half. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> he deserves it, honestly. Chuck him in a bin. He deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. He's a he's a bad person, man. Damn. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me know about that. Yeah. Now you just have that information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That really was a sadness, Jembe. Yeah. I just I just say that you know it was like uh, you know. The algorithm is definitely feeding me death lately. <laughs> you know, okay. it's just the algorithm's like, you want more? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's those four people that died in that boating yeah. TikTok challenge. Yeah. It's kind of funny that like, Twitter like designates how you're going to feel that day. And yeah. it decides. Yeah. Every morning. I think someone's programming. On Ang- the back end, they're like, well, Noel's going to be angry today. Yeah. Angry. Or Noel's going to be sad today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like, you know, depressed. Yeah doomed yeah let's like let's give him a whole bunch of murder shit yeah 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 that's why i always say like are you sad or is it the algorithm yeah (laughs) it's so true it's so fucking true i deleted twitter off my phone and it's like i have felt happy yeah again (laughs) every day i was just starting my day with this like oh what the fuck is this guy saying (laughs) yeah you know what i mean that's a good feeling no Computer maybe crashing? Maybe. Maybe okay. crashing. Let's pause. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one beep and bop. America's number one meal kit. <laughs> Take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh. From chef-crafted seasonal recipes to their fresh and fit summer menu, HelloFresh brings flavor right to your door. Pre-proportioned ingredients help cut down on food waste, while step-by-step instructions make cooking a breeze, not a chore. It's peak time for summer produce, and HelloFresh makes sure you get all the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than seven days for quality you can taste. HelloFresh offers more than just delicious dinners. It's now easier than ever to skip that extra grocery store run by adding snacks, sides, and more to your weekly order. Mm. HelloFresh offers 40 recipes to choose from every single week. Plus, their fast and fresh recipes are ready in just 15 minutes or less. Mm. Plus, if that wasn't enough, yeah. HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout. What? Yeah. I love HelloFresh. I cook it all the time. It makes cooking easy and saves me a ton of time and energy. Wondering what I want to eat. Which you know, f- we all know what you want to eat. <laughs> yeah. It's a beaten bop. Yeah. But then I got to find a recipe for it. Yeah. Not with HelloFresh. It comes it. with the recipes. And the ingredients are all pre-portioned. Which is great. Which is great. So if you're interested in that, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat50 and use code TinyMeat50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat50 and use code TinyMeat50 for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. We had to take a quick break. because The computer, computer crashed. crashed. But I also, we shut down the, the slot. Yeah. So we could focus. focus. Yeah. What we were talking about, because I was like, is this even legal to have this in California? And but we're not in California, so. Oh, it's true. We are in space. That's a good yeah. point. So we're safe up here. We're but totally good. But yes, it would be illegal to have. Yes. If we were running a covert slot room. Yeah. Which would be like the way less cool version of a poker room. Yeah. Like where like high class, like, you know, celebs come in. Yeah. Like Molly's game. But no. You know, you have fucking, what's his face coming in? Leo's friend. Yeah. Uh, Leo's friend. No, the the, the celebrity. Oh. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. No, no, no. Who's like the f- poker fiend? The guy that played not Charlie Chaplin, but fucking. <laughs> I'm so bad with this shit, dude. Uh, no, the other, you know, like the extravagant parties and shit like that. Great yeah, Great Gatsby. Who? No, that was Leo. That was Leo. Who was the other guy? In in the Great Gatsby. Yeah, the guy that wanted the girl. Um, Tom Holland. Toby McGuire. Yes, he's like a poker hound. Oh, is he? You never read Molly's Game or watched the? No, no. Oh, no. He was like one of the main guys that would go and just like buy in with like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Got it. 
So instead of that, we run a slot room, and yep. it's all senior citizens yep. that come in, and we run it. You know, we wear suits, and we walk around the... We have just rows of slots. Yeah. And it's like in a basement somewhere. Yeah. And we walk around. Gladys, good to see you. And she's like, hey, Cody, you know, my son-in-law says, okay, don't care. Beatrice, good to see you. If I win, I think I might be able to (laughs) buy some insulin. Yep. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, then you better keep playing, Beatrice. Okay. Keep smacking the button. My hearing aid died last week. I haven't been able to. Keep smacking the button. Racking the button? Smack the button. Smack keep going. the button. It your luck will turn around. Just keep playing. You Don't want say me to please. Turn around? <laughs> Never mind. God. She sucks. I mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the button. Keep smacking the button. Exactly. That's what I'll you know, and that's how I'll talk when I hit the floor. Yeah. I'll be they'll be like No. Here, <laughs> no. <laughs> and I'm like, ladies, ladies, one at a time. Relax, <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> My partner, he's very good with the button. Very good with the button. Maybe he'll come by and smack that one for you. Oh, stop teasing. Oop, celeb shot. Oop. Ah. Ding. Oh, 30 free spins. Look at that. And then one of them turns around, haggard old man. What's his name? Uh, Clyde. Clyde. Okay. He turns around to you and he's like, "You know, I was bisexual in college. <laughs> I'm I'm married forty years, but I would have fucked the shit out of a guy like you." All right, Clyde. Thank you, man. Yep. Appreciate it. You got a great Appreciate ass, it. champ. Okay, thank you, man. God. And then you turn around to walk away, and he smacks it. And he's like, "Well, my hand got free." <laughs> hey. Glad you keep that hand on the button, all right? Hands off the merchandise. <laughs> all right. What a You're funny, freak. <laughs> what a freak. And then we take them for all they're worth. Yeah. To the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. When the, and then when there's an old person just crying at the machine. Left. <laughs> My stipend yeah. has run out. That's too bad. You're going to have to. My retirement. The, you're going to have to get off the chair. <laughs> We have people waiting. There's there's so, people in the lobby, so we're gonna need you to bounce. Clyde's here. We need you to get Me out. Me Clyde here. have a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got a special little thing. So Clyde you gotta keeps get up. Winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time Clyde wins, you walk up behind him, and your your hand is kind of hitting his waist a little bit. <laughs> You're like, nice job. Right? He's like, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Form a <of> conspiracy. <laughs> Clyde wins because Cody wants to have sex with him. <laughs> no, Clyde wants to have sex with me. Yeah, but he turns you around. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then it's like, sort of like a, yeah. I yearn for the attention. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You both know, like, you're in relationships. You Clyde, kind of how you doing? Yeah. Kind of like turn my ass or you know? Yeah. <laughs> let me check the machine here for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me just see if things plugged in. Yep. It is. All plugged in. I'm just check out the hey, machine. Hey, eyes on the you. eyes on the slot machine. Come on. Come on, quit playing around. What are you looking at? <laughs> quit playing around. <laughs> Fucking this guy. Lock this guy up. <laughs> He's in the button. You're just around. He's like, you're distracting me again. <laughs> Stop it, Clyde. I'm going to need you to leave, Cody. <laughs> Dude, speaking, I, I meanwhile, remember this. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say, meanwhile, I'd be in the corner, and uh, someone would be negotiating me to cut their lawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys do very good work. I don't agree with everything Trump has to say about you. I don't, I don't. I'm a big fan of the Mexicans. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. No hablo. Right. <laughs> not. Uh, not. A, I'm, I'm not a landscaper. <laughs> Landscapers come in more than one size and <laughs> origin. But thank you. Anyway, wh- what were you saying? Well, I. I feel like it's my turn to kid cutty this now. <laughs> Because I remember this when you were talking You're about... You're just like, <clears throat> I hacked a reporter to <laughs> Yeah, no. That's the fuck. That's dark. Right. That's so fucked up. No, I was thinking about this because, uh, you know, I was like, you were talking about your depressing story. So I was like, what's one that I can bring up? And then I was like, wait, I've been thinking about this all morning since you drove this fucking car in here. The reason why I'm so nervous about carbon monoxide is because I saw that article about the two people that died on vacation. Oh, yeah. Did you see yeah, that yeah. in Mexico? It's like a nice five-star hotel. 
and they both died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. Because apparently the machine had been unplugged like four times. Yeah. Run out of batteries, and the hotel just would not replace it, and they just ignored it, and then both of them died. This is a five star hotel. Well, yeah. And it's like a Hyatt or something like that. So now they're like being sued to high heaven, obviously. Well, now they just earn they should themselves be. five stars. <laughs> what? I don't get it. You played Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Damn, just, just uh, no. I'm just picturing the game, like hotel, uh, the hotel manager just standing at the desk, and then <laughs> out of nowhere, just the five stars start blinking. It's just like, <laughs> like what, what? <laughs> what, what, what do we do? What, what? do we do? <laughs> 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 yeah, so I've just been nervous that we're gonna die the whole time. No, that's cool, man. <laughs> no, we're, it's too yeah, big no, of dude, space. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no more fire. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> that felt dark. I'm not making fun of the people. Yeah, that, you know, you're joking not, about not, how to die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Stamps. We wanted to take the time to thank our producer, Ovi, who is super dope, super amazing, very wonderful, and works tirelessly off screen to make sure we get the podcast Yo, to you every this? week. Um, we <laughs> wrote this. <laughs> Thanks to her and the rest of our team, we can focus on what we do best, making you laugh. When every person, moment, and penny counts in your business, you can't afford to take them for granted. Stamps.com gets it gets it because for the last 25 years they've been helping businesses like yours save time and money so you can focus on your business knowing stamps.com has all your postage needs covered with premium discounts and great rates with stamps.com all you need is a computer and a printer they even send you a free scale so you'll have everything you need to get started if you need a package pickup you can easily schedule it through your stamps.com dashboard and if your product sells online stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart get access to the usps and ups services you need right from your computer anytime day or night no lines no traffic no waiting Running a business isn't cheap especially when it comes to fulfilling orders for your customers luckily stamps.com has huge carrier discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. Set your business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code TMG for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code TMG. So last week... Or the week before, I brought you my favorite TikToker of the week. Yeah. Which, he's popping off, man. He's been popping off, yeah. actually. Like, yeah. He had like 50,000 followers at that time. Now he's got 100, I think. He's doubled. He's going up. Since that time. It's going up. And uh, you can, you can kind of, you know, you can kind of tell the fame's kind of, you know, it's get. Well, by the way, actually, no, he's been the same guy since then, honestly. I'm yeah. surprised that his videos have stayed exactly the same. Yeah. But the one thing that has changed is he's showing the inside of the coffee shops that he's going to. And I think that's because you might have struck a nerve. Me? Yeah. Oh. Because don't you remember that comment where you're like... He doesn't even go in. Yeah. Like I love cut, the editing. He's like walking towards the building, then it cuts right to the outside. Yeah. Hey, what can I say? And now since then, he's been showing the inside. It's all right. It's all right, my guy. T take it and run with it, my man. <clears throat> but since then, people have been sending me content that sort of has the same vibe. Similar vibe. Yeah, I hate to use the term NPC, but it's just like, I, I, I would say m this is more just normal normal people videos. Right. <laughs> and people not trying to do anything for the camera. It's just their normal life. Which is cool because I feel that we, you know, I think no one will admit it, but the beginning of TikTok, everyone liked it because there's all these people who were like, you know, a little bit, maybe a little bit off. Yeah, okay. You know? <laughs> Maybe a little bit unwell. Okay. Just uploading. That randomly. is true, yeah. And everyone's like... Yeah, yeah, right. And, and, you know, they like to pretend that the app was, you know... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah. everyone's on there like, yo, look at this mentally ill person. Yeah, yeah, Or like, right. look at this, like, meth addict. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I think everyone was so drawn to it because we don't have, you know, people on there like our boy um, who are just making things to make them. Yeah. Because they believe in it. Yeah. So, yeah. I and, and I also think in this age of like, you know, 
I think like Mr. Beast has like spawned this entire generation of people that are like, okay, we have to like take this random thing and drive it across the country and somehow find this person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In in the in the era of that, this is kind of a breath of fresh air. Where yeah. it's like, or or we can just go to Walmart and fucking do nothing. Do nothing. Mm-hmm. So I bring you my favorite video of the week. That's fine. And it's this. I come to the store and this sauce right here catches my eye. And one of these times I'm going to try it. Japanese barbecue sauce. You got the hot and spicy. The original. <laughs> Our boy working a little turtle shell back mm-hmm. there. Yuzu. You, you make sure you see that. It looks good. Have any of you guys had that before? If so. <laughs> now, did he say whenever I come into this store? <laughs> I think so. I think this is just a Walmart, I think. Mm, no. I like that. I like this store. <laughs> Why? It's kind of a subtle. It's like a. Well, we're here at Walmart. Yeah, it's a store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. Relax. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a flex. Like, calm down. Yeah, yeah. It's just a store. It's just a store. When I come to this store. Yeah, yeah. This catches yeah, my yeah. eye. It's like it's Walmart for you because it's a special occasion when you go here. Yeah, for me, yeah. this is just it's a store. Right? Yeah, it's one of, the, the, many time, I, one of the, I, the many I many I frequent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you paused it at the perfect time because that's the end of the video. Perfect. He just goes, "Have you? Have any of you guys tried it? Let me know." And that, that's the end. He doesn't get it. He yeah. just says, "One of these times, I'm uh, one might. of these times I might buy it." It's the perfect video. It's yeah. like how everyone walks through a store. It's like, oh, I've been meaning to buy that, but I, I don't really want to carry it today, so I'm not gonna get it. Yeah. You know. Well, this is also this has the same vibe as you know a father gets a camera. And they're filming their 14-year-old son. Yeah. Like, hey, we're live. And they just say something random. Yeah. Where are you going to this? Uh, I like the, this sauce. I yeah. might get it one time. <laughs> okay. So, wait. You love that sauce, don't you? Wave bye. One of these times, I'm going to buy that for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. What's the comment? <laughs> oh. What is it? Just try it, my guy. What do you want us to say? <laughs> <laughs> Just try it, bro. <laughs> he wants to know if any of you guys have tried it, though. So, Brian, that's what you're supposed to say. He wants... Have you tried it, that sauce? I have not tried okay, it. Okay, yeah, I haven't tried the sauce either. Should we write that? Man, he, he has that that what MySpace is look, man. Every day I pick up the sauce, I read its label, <laughs> Japanese hot sauce. I wonder to myself, is today the day that I finally conquer my fears? Is today the day that I finally take the leap and change my entire life? I ponder to myself and contemplate for five to six hours. No, I say, not yet. I'm not ready. That's beautiful. That was fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to steal the thunder, man. Amber, you seem like a nice guy. But man, what is going on? <laughs> Everyone bugging out by someone just normal. They're so ang- they just don't get it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, weird posts, but that sauce is amazing. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Weird posts, but I'll answer the question. I actually have tried it. It's great. Oh, man, he's using the internet like the old when you just put out ideas. and This is like when, yeah. Actually, you know what it is? He's just treating it like a like an Ask Reddit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Which is so jarring to people. Yeah. When you use a video to just pose a question. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be my new YouTube angle. It's just a million questions. <laughs> I'm just gonna start a channel called A Million Questions and every <laughs> day. A YouTube short something. every day. Yeah. Hey guys, have you tried Evian water? Got a cue for you. What's the best bottled water? Yeah. I'll tell you mine, but I actually want to know what your guys' favorite is. Yeah, that would probably go crazy on the yeah. algorithm. Oh yeah, for sure. Twenty thousand replies every day. Yeah. Quick cue. Um, what do you guys like on your hot dogs? Yeah. See ya. What's the best slot machine? Yeah. And why is it rich little piggies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, look at him. See, now he's fucking, he gets a little fame, and now he wants to tell us how to think, piece of shit. Th- this guy has a classic MySpace presentation. Yeah. Helmet hair. Yeah. You know? Looks like he's in a pop punk band. Yeah. Yeah, this is like when Instagram first came out, and you just post pictures of, like, shit you're eating, and be like, what do you think, like, ever had this? Question yeah. Mark. Oh, I thought like when when, it, when you actually wanted it to like when you actually wanted to socialize with people. Yeah. Over. Oh, I, th- media. I thought I was like posting random pictures, and then saying like, 
supremely inappropriate stuff. <laughs> I mean, that that's when Facebook was first invented. Got it. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't there for the beginning of Instagram, so I don't know. What do you mean you weren't there for it? I didn't. Dude, I didn't download Instagram until like we had met. Really? I only had Instagram for like a year, year and a half prior to that. I or, guess. Or, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I missed the first couple years and then I downloaded it in college. Let, let me really think. So that was what, 1980? 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nice, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> um, No, it was actually 2010, I'll have you know. Okay. I'm thinking. I think I downloaded Instagram 2014, maybe? Yeah. Or 13. 13 wow. or 14. Whoa. Hey, get this. Get, get the fuck out of my <coughs> coffee. How do the flies get up here? You know? So, yeah. So, yeah, I missed the... That's my favorite video of the week. Now, I wouldn't say he's my favorite TikToker, TikToker of the week because right. I went on his page and he doesn't, you know... He, that video had had some traction, so I'm right. comfortable bringing it up. Right, you know the rest of his stuff is kind of, yeah, random. You know, that's kind of cool. Like he's only got five thousand followers. I didn't, didn't want to. Well, not that, not that that doesn't matter, but I didn't want to like pull this guy up and be like, not that we're clowning him, but you get it. We're not you know saying, yeah, we're not, we're not. He's uh, you know, he's he's out here hustling. Yeah, just exactly. posing questions to the world. Yep, trying to connect, trying to network. And there was one other thing I wanted to show you. Let here. let this be a lesson, guys, girls, wherever you are. Just be yourself. Yeah. Be yourself. <clears throat> don't try too hard. That's the most endearing thing. You're sitting there thinking of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh don't try too hard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't try too hard. <laughs> Just be yourself. Just be yourself. You don't need props. No. Guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Seat Geek. I've been looking to find the best deal on Drake tickets recently, which is why I turned to SeatGeek. Oh, with over 28 million downloads, <laughs> SeatGeek is the number one ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With artists like Taylor Swift, Post Malone, The 1975, and Noah Khan. Kahan? I don't know. They're all on tour. You don't want to miss out. And SeatGeek is your way to stay tapped in. Listen, guys, I love SeatGeek. I got it on my phone. There's at least seven events going on every day. <laughs> so you can really... Got a lot to choose from. Um, sorry, 70,000. Yeah, yeah. What did I say? Seven. Sorry, 70,000 Yeah. here. And I'm scrolling through them, as you can see here. So well, I'll probably I'll probably go there for Drake tickets. It's right there. Drake with 21 Savage. Well, you know, uh, while we're... Drake while with two Savage. That's 21 one. Savage, yeah. sorry. Well, while we're swinging about, you know, baseball season is back in full mm -hmm. swing. Football is going to be back before we know it. Yeah, you know, true. Seat Geek, they put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure that you are getting a good deal. Each ticket price is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, which, you know, we're very good at counting. <laughs> so to make sure you're getting a good deal, you want to look out for the green dots. Obviously, green means good. Red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And Seat Geek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know we came through for you guys. You know, Use our you code know. TMG for two dollars off tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Use our code TMG for twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek. That's twenty dollars off your first purchase with promo code TMG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. I do want to show you this one more video. Oh, okay. I think another enjoy. favorite video of the week. You know, I feel yeah, like yeah, I need I have to contribute. I have two favorite videos of the week. I feel like I need to contribute. What'd you say? It is, yeah, last that I last sent through. You're gonna really enjoy this. Oh, they shut the power down. Shut the fuck up! God damn. Why? Listen! You listen. You got a bad storm coming, that's why. Oh my gosh. If, Tornadoes? If we tell you that you need your shelter because there's a tornado that's already started producing storms and two tornadoes. If we tell you that you need your shelter, you need to go to the back of this hallway where he's pointing. Go through the double doors. Security will take you to the very back of the warehouse where there are no windows. And that's where you will be. I'll show you tornado. Okay. Hey, Stop being an idiot. Stop being an idiot. This is serious, y'all. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> he said, okay, I'll leave. You're going to leave. <laughs> Bro, that's like that's Chuck, like walking tornado. up naked in Second Life into someone's house. <laughs> I know, I, I, I'll show you, Tornado. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, serious, idiot. Be for real. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, y'all. <laughs> that was sick, though. <laughs> that was fucking sick, right? I'll show you, Tornado. <laughs> and he was about to go in, bro. They cut him off. That was whack. <laughs> who stopped him? Who Who stopped him? Oh, they knocked it she out of his hand. Grab that shit, bro. Stop. This is serious. She knew her husband liked it. She was like, don't do this in front of him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Her husband <laughs> about to get all into it. He's like, hell yeah. <laughs> She's like, no, David, stop it. I'm leaving. You're going to leave. You're going to leave. <laughs> Damn, I'm that leaving. dialogue, man. Her face. I like how that, that security guard's got the dip in, too. <laughs> yeah. Is this a bar? It has to be. Right? Man, with how long it took it's that... It's crazy they weren't just like, get out of here. With how long it like, took that lady to explain, they would have died. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just crazy that they like, wa- like that everyone's still like standing there partying. Yeah. And they're like, the party can keep going. Just if we tell you to shelter, you got to do it. I think uh, yeah, that's what I learned about... I thought tornadoes were this... I bombed for like 10 minutes straight in St. Louis talking about tornadoes. Why? So. Uh, Cause I thought it was a super, I thought it was like a threatening thing, and it's not really. It, de- I mean, it definitely fucks up people's houses, but tornadoes are more like we got a tornado warning, and they're like it touched down, and everyone might stand outside that bar and just see it like, like visually, it just looks like it's like twenty miles out, and they're just seeing it move across. And it so, just, it, but is the danger that like it can like the debris? Right, because it like yeah. throws shit around and that could hurt you. Yeah, but, but you can't get caught in it. Can nah, you? uh, yeah, I think you can. You can definitely get. Yeah, like, ah! yeah. <laughs> Basically, what that guy did to the beer. I mean, I know. Yeah, yeah exactly. If I you, know it's probably happened to people, so it's a little bit fucked up to joke about. But imagine just like, yeah, exactly. Up. You're just like, ah! like thirty feet off the ground. Actually, no, it just, just going you up and it puts you back down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Just gently places you back down. Yeah, but my understanding with tornadoes is when they hit, they just kind of have a designated path for a short period, and then they just disappear. So you might have a tornado warning, but I don't think anyone takes Why that serious. Why would you serious. drive s- straight into this? Because you can get pretty close. Oh, my God. That's insane. Yeah. Go in, pussy. The the yeah the the challenge is driving fast enough that you can get to the eye yeah because then it's perfect it's perfectly still yeah and then you have to drive with it you have to drive the speed of it don't fucking tempt me dog <laughs> yeah let's do it don't challenge me homie yeah let's take this <laughs> thing yeah these things are actually really good for storm chasing yeah this is actually this isn't a tornado video it's a gender reveal actually <laughs> what <laughs> it's a gender reveal. <laughs> Just, just a dude running up, just trying to throw some powder in there. Just get, <laughs> just gets yanked up in it. <laughs> we got a storm coming, and we're gonna use it for the gender reveal. Oh man, you're fucking crazy! <laughs> Ain't no way you're gonna use that. Fight. Yeah, bitch, bitch, you're some bitch. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm driving right up to her. I'm throwing the color of the baby right up in there. Man. Don't throw the fucking baby in there. Dude drives up in a fucking Duramax. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man, Mike just went up in the tornado, man. I had to put him down eventually. Maybe in two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. So isn't the danger with that that it can like reverse directions like quickly? But uh, nah, it ain't like a fucking race car. You're gonna see it. I think they move pretty fast. They move fast, but if it started changing, you would. I mean, look at that. They're just, dude, they're pulling up yeah, that in a no, Prius. No. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Y'all a, see that? <laughs> Yo, check that shit out right there. It's like it's a drive in movie. <laughs> ah, man, I drive right up to it, man. I want to <laughs> see what's going on. <laughs> the other person's not a storm chaser. They're just driving yeah. on the highway. Dude, I, I yeah, in St. Louis, I was like, anybody had their house fucked up by a tornado? Everyone's like, no. Mm. I'm like, whoops. Oh, oh well. You're like, damn! I got fucking 20 more minutes of tornado. To uh, that actually it. happened. I wrote a couple bits, and they were like, "No." I'm like, "Okay." But we don't think anything about tornadoes are funny here. Yeah. Yep. They're not dangerous. Bombed they're it not hard. Cool. Yeah. They're just like nothing to us. 
Yeah. Tornado Alley. Oh, this is interesting. That kind of looks like Tornado Nutsack. Nice. <laughs> it, it does, actually. It kind of looks like a penis. It's like, yeah. Warm, dry air, <clears throat> warm, moist air. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. why Texas got some sensitive little bitches down there because they're moist. Mm hmm. Oh, you shut your fucking mouth, pussy. I'll show you, Tornado. <clears throat> oh, man, I'm torn. feeling lightheaded. Yeah, Tornado. We are definitely slowly dying right now. Tornado. 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 Oh, you seen the new Dune trailer? <laughs> no, I'm you serious. Me? No, I actually haven't seen it. Did, did you watch the first one? I meant to watch it on my Garmin watch, but... Uh, tough. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll um, I'll get you that uh, that survive that digital survival compass, and I'll load it on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can watch that yeah, yeah. on your next run. <laughs> I meant to watch it on my sat nav. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your nautical sat nav <laughs> for a dinghy boat. Yeah. Hard fucking plastic case. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't seen it yet, but I am excited for that movie. And you know what? Actually, we almost went to the theater on Sunday. Uh, we almost did. No, that's a big step for us. Yeah. Just you making one of those videos? <laughs> so I've, never, I've never gone to the movie theater yeah, before. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Like yeah, this is my first time in a movie theater. What do you think? What do you th <laughs> yeah. So I'm here to watch. I wanted to see, what was it? Um, Past Lives or whatever? Mm, what's that? That's uh, an A24 movie. Yeah. And also No Hard Feelings. I want to see that too. Got it. So here to watch a movie and just wondering, what's your guys' favorite movie? Have you guys ever seen a movie? Let me know. Thanks. Oh, word yes, this movie. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we almost did it. What? I'm just thinking of bad puns, dude. What? No Hard Feelings. It's a film about my circumcision. Go ahead. Mmm. Sorry. <laughs> that was good. I'm, oh. not, I'm, not, I'm not very on it today. Oh, the laughter, Jambe. Yeah. What is it? Jam Jambe? Jambe. Oh, dude, I'm going to do that in my next show. What? Next time I bomb a joke. I'm going to bring a drum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I bomb a joke, it's just like, okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> should we Should we chat with this AI thing? Yeah, but no, hold on. You, hold on. You, uh, so you didn't go? No, no, we didn't. I'm just telling you, we almost did. So what'd you end up doing? Just stayed home. <laughs> yeah, this, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm trying to be like Adam Jockel, all right? Yeah, that was awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. No, but I, you know me, I'm anti-theater. Yeah. So for me to almost go is a big step, and that is a story. Damn. It's not a non-story. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I, I went to Google Maps. like Google Maps the closest theater. And then I said, see show times. I said, see more, because it only showed two of the movies that were playing. <laughs> oh, God. So at, yeah, first, okay. I, no, at first, I thought, is this theater only playing two movies? What the fuck? And I clicked show more. Fear not. There was like a list of six more. So that's, I was like, oh, whoa, okay. A kind of a relief. So then, and it was a dine-in theater, so I was pretty excited about that. So then I was like, kind of like, okay, well, we can go for dinner. And uh, I took a nap, and I woke up, and the the movie was supposed to start at six thirty. I woke up at six. Yeah. The theater was a little bit longer than half an hour away. Right. So I was like, we're not even gonna make the movie. The movie, yeah. like the start of it. Right. I don't want to go to a movie and it be five minutes into it already. Right. So then we said we're just gonna stay home. Okay. <laughs> and uh, trying to think of what else, <laughs> dude. You know, I think that's, that's all the details. <laughs> that you know what that felt like. Well, we had a hard time choosing between past lives and no hard feelings. This feels past lives wasn't playing at the theater, so this feels like wasn't a choice. A dude. Oh, no hard feelings was the only movie that starts. <laughs> this, this feels like with, if two people started a podcast and they have legitimately <laughs> not a fucking clue what they wanted to do with it. <laughs> so it was the only option, right? 
Right. So it actually wasn't a choice at all. Oh, okay. It was our only option. Yeah. But. That's a sick story. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. What'd you get up to this weekend? I almost killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool, man. Oh, that's not very fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's boring. About, that's how I thought about doing it, but then uh, <laughs> yeah, carbon monoxide. <laughs> yeah, carbon monoxide. <laughs> that's See, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's, oh, that's, great. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. That's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> What did I do this weekend, dude? Oh, oh, the fucking fights on Saturday? Oh, yeah. I watched uh, the Volkanovski one. The, that's the only one? I watched the two before it, but even. I missed Robbie Lawler fight. Don't even fucking talk to me. Why? Which one? You which one were Robbie Lawler. I did, I know. And I, already, I know. I already knocked out the guy in 30 seconds. Dude. Is there any better way to end your career than that? Oh, uh, dude, I was, I, was, no. I was tearing up. Yeah. I mean, that is... You couldn't ask for a better end. Dude, his when at the end <clears throat> uh fuck. I've not I've you know I was so judgmental of people that cried in sporting moments cuz I'm like how could you that's the first sporting moment I almost broke. Did he cry? Yeah, it that broke me. <clears throat> cuz like first of all, he, his he, he's got uh his he's, he looks older but he doesn't seem like he's aged. Like yeah. He still looks like he's like thirty something. I didn't really, I didn't realize he's forty one. Yeah, and uh, you know they they get him on the mic and he's like a pretty stoic dude and he's like, oh man, you know I've been you know I've been fighting a long time, you know, and I just think now, you know, he could tell like he's feeling it like fuck. This is the last time. It was really sick because the the arena was almost completely packed out, and I think people were definitely like, we need to get there early. And yeah, yeah, Robbie for yeah. the last time, and yeah, the way he knocked him out, it was just clean. Yeah, fucking nasty uppercut. <clears throat> and then uh, they played like this reel, and they didn't. They don't do this normally, but they're like, uh, it was like a big thank you reel. So they have like a, a f- you know a feed of him looking up at the video, and he's watching, and they show him at like fucking twenty something, and it just he just starts. <laughs> like he just starts breaking. Oh my god! I'm, th- I'm looking at him like, fuck. This is Holy just a raw moment, shit. man. Yeah, I don't think we can show this. You can play it muted, maybe. Yeah. Um, this probably is not the... actually. No. I don't think you can. But show you can just footage. keep playing in the background, so I can. Um, was that keep... the knockout? Yeah, he beat the dog shit out of that guy. Oh yeah, here we go. You can, you can just see him. So you know they got some. You know. Hype ass music behind this, yeah. <clears throat> and I'm just getting memories, just watching it. You know, thinking of like when I watched when I was young, and yeah, look at him. He can't even keep it together. God, it's, it's fucking. Oh up yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. I didn't even see him in the left corner there. This is getting me right now. Yeah, and this is what sports is about. <laughs> you motherfucker! What? <laughs> I thought you were saying that ironically. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Like legacy, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Emotional look, moments look, like this. Look, look how young that man is yeah. there. Yeah. Straight killer, yeah. dude. That's crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, just get like being reminded of all the phases of his fight career, yeah. and it just uh, even as a as a viewer, you know, you're reminded how long you've been watching him, and you weirdly have some connection to him, even yeah. though he has no fucking clue who you are. It's just crazy, man. Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, so he won. Um, and th- what did you think of the whole tiff between Izzy and um, what's-his-face? Yeah, people were, like, getting really bent about that, but I think those I people... a little weird. Well, pe- I, th- I think those people forgot... Uh, it's like I think their memory just hadn't served them. Uh, Dracus had this weird interview after a fight where, and he, he has like a couple moments where he's like, "I'm a real African." Oh, okay. And it's like, so he started it. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, and okay. and it it just came across like some weird like South African like apartheid shit. Yeah, like, yeah I'm not yeah. saying that's like what he is. 
Yeah, yeah. But I think that's just how it came across because he's like, I'm a real African. I train in Africa. Yeah. I breathe African air. And I think that's yeah, pretty, like, that's pretty shitty to say yeah. when there was, <laughs> like, there's fucking Francis Ngannou, uh, Kamaru Usman, and you have Izzy, you know. Sure, they they don't live in Africa. Yeah, but, yeah. But I thought it was ironic because people were saying, you know, how can Izzy say that Dracus isn't like a real African? And it's like that's the, that's the point he was yeah, making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was fucking with him. Yeah. Because uh, like there's an old clip of Izzy <laughs> basically being like, I can't wait to fight him. I'm just going to call him the N-word the whole time. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I thought it was like kind of weird. With, like you see the Dana White interview where he's like, what racial undertones? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, dude, yeah, that's yeah, all it was. Yeah, come on, like, man. <laughs> Let's be fucking for real. Be for real. Dude. Yeah, that's dude. all it was. He's yeah. like, what? What? Yeah. yeah, dude. I mean, you know, Dana, he, he needs to sell that fight. He's not trying to drum that up. Um, no, but yeah, but he should be, I guess. If he, yeah. If he, like, uh, all is the, that the whole point? All the memes are so funny, like like Dana White like getting excited to promote a race war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. He's just getting all stoked. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. We're going to make the dollars now, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think at the end. Well, he kind of he kind of is, though, by saying like, he can say whatever the fuck he wants to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think at the end of that exchange, I think Drakus was actually, he he seemed a little slightly shook. Yeah, I like think when, so too. When Izzy was like, no, 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 no. I don't think he was expecting that. But he's like, stare off, stare yeah. off. He's like, just feel me, yeah. just feel me. Yeah, yeah, that was hard. Yeah. I think Drake is like, first of all, I think Drake is like, was reminded in that moment, like, okay, this dude does not give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's something undeniably scary about a dude who says things like, I manifested this. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, there are fighters that are like, I believe God is in my right hand. But if you have someone who's like, you are on my vision board. <laughs> yeah. That's just. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So my only thought is the way Drakus fights is like when Bobby would kind of put the pressure on him, Drakus has this thing of doing this. He like covers up and kind of walks back. Izzy's a counterpuncher, but it makes me wonder if Izzy takes the fight to him, can he just back Dracus up to the fence and then just take away his movement? I don't totally. know. I was thinking the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, That's I actually what you texted I've... me. Yeah, yeah. I what you texted me, me yeah. 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 Yep. So. Yeah, so, yeah. No hard feelings. I was the only one that was playing. Mm, That's the one you almost saw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, guys. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into this uh, 300th episode. We're gonna. It was a to. special episode. This episode had everything. It really did. Peaks, valleys, thirty free spins. Yeah. Literally, we hit a big win. We hit a. We kicked it off with a big win. That's a. That's huge. Yeah. That never happens, <laughs> and that's what it's about. I'm glad you guys finally get to see because people in the comments are like, "All oh, they talk about is fucking gambling now." Now you get to see the joy, <laughs> and the reason why it's close to our hearts. Um. Yeah, so uh, join us in the bonus. Um, we don't mean our our, you know, we don't mean our free spins. We, just, <laughs> we, we mean the actual bonus episode. Uh, join us in the bonus. Um, we're just gonna it's gonna, just gonna be <laughs> a, a, a real time slot play for a whole hour. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. No, we'll, we'll have some. No, cake this and, will this will be your guys's bonus spin. Yeah. So you see can all. take us for a bonus spin. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Take us for a spin now. Nah. Take us for a little bonus meat yeah. spin. Yeah. I'll show you I'll show you a tornado. Yeah. How's this for a spin? Oh fucking hey, Clyde. God damn. <laughs> What's that? Uh, is that touching tips? Yeah. Me and Clyde. Show you a tornado. Oh bro. <laughs> it still stinks. <laughs> we talk about it in the bonus. I, I kind of have regrets about that, but I would talk about it in the bonus. <laughs> okay. Uh, TMGstudios.tv. Uh, big thank you, is, everybody. This, keep in mind, this is the 300th free episode. Yeah. We've also done almost 300 bonus episodes. We have. So we're probably like over 500 episodes of podcasting in or something like that. Which is pretty awesome. That's fucking phenomenal. Very all of those are on TMGstudios.tv. And you can access all of them, the whole archive. Yeah, very proud to to say that. So yeah, big thank you everybody uh, for all the all the continued support. Yes. And yeah, we'll see you on. The we'll see you. 
in the, the bonus next, and for the next 300. Yeah. Goodbye. This week on the Bone Zone. Should we talk with my AI? I'm meeting Cody Co for the first time. <laughs> the fuck did they train this on? Is this how I actually talk? <laughs> Last when night was when you're dramatically <laughs> lit. It was a movie last night. It was dramatically <laughs> lit. <laughs> Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at tmgstudios.tv.